Utah Jazz beat the Portland Trail Blazers 129 107. Donovan Mitchell had 30 points, 5 assists, 4 steals. Rudy Gobert had 21 points, 16 rebounds, 9 of 11 from field goal. And Damian Lillard only dropped 11 points yesterday, which is honestly insane to think about. And I just don't really know why why he didn't really shoot that well or play that well yesterday. And maybe they could have won if he scored more points, but who knows. The Pelicans and upset beat the Clippers 123-104. Paul George had 27 points last night. Brandon Ingram, once he came back, had 27 points as well. And he's been injured for quite a while, it seems like. And Jonas Valanciunas honestly was the player of the game. He had 39 points. 15 rebounds and 7 or 8 from 3 point field goal. He honestly had a great game and I was surprised. The Pelicans are still very horrible in general and I feel like trading Steven Adams for Valentinus was obviously the right move. But I don't really know what the Pelicans need and I just think that the GM and the front office is the main problem of what's going on. I just don't think they have good players built around to really win games. They seem like they're going to be one of the worst teams in the NBA. They've been one of the worst teams in the NBA and barely making the playoffs for the last two years, it seems like. Three, even, when they drafted Zion. Beakers becomes Gatorade's first NCAA athlete partner. UConn star Paige Beakers has signed a multi-NIL deal, endorsement deal with Gatorade. She's expected to be featured in campaigns and community activations through the Huskies' current season, which I wonder what kind of campaigns really like. Will it be commercials? Will it be on different Gatorade bottles, I don't really know. And this is probably a good idea for Gatorade to start signing NCAA athletes. I wonder who the net, the first football player will be to be signed for an NCAA Gatorade deal as well. And who do you guys think it will be? Nets will beat the Knicks tonight, and the Warriors will beat the Suns. And I don't think there will be very close games, both of them. I think the Suns will be by 10 or more points, and I think that the Nets versus Knicks will probably be by 15.